Hi, my name is Brad Rosley. Thanks for tuning in again today. We're going to talk about Roth 401ks, something near and dear to my heart, because I've used one for years and many of my clients have as well. I'm a certified financial planner with Fortune Financial Group, and I also write a blog at bradrosley.com. Feel free to give that a look as well. Today, this topic is Roth 401ks. I love, love, love Roth 401ks because of a number of reasons, and I'm going to go through those right now. For starters, most people in America don't save enough money for retirement. It's a fact. Most recent statistics show 28% of the people in this country have less than $5,000 saved in the, when they get in their 60s. Another 10% have less than 100000 between fifty and 100000 It's a lot more than under five, but still not nearly enough. And then the biggest... The biggest group of people have between one and 500,000. That's roughly 38% of, of people out there. It's a lot of money, one to 500,000. Now I'm gonna tell you, it's not that much when it comes to spending power. If you got a quarter million dollars saved up and you make 4% on that money, that's $10,000 a year before taxes. Yeah, it's not bad. It's just not gonna go all that far. Uh, so I'm here to tell you why foreign 401ks, Roth 401ks especially, or something that will help you get over that hump a little bit more than the traditional 401k. It has everything to do with income taxes. With a traditional 401k, you get a tax deduction for the amount of money you put in your plan. For example, you put $6,000 a year into your 401k. You have two paychecks um, every month. You put two fifty dollars a paycheck in and it's $500 a month, it's $6,000 a year. That's great, way to go. If you start it when you're age 30 and you go all the way to 67 and you keep that amount level, you make 7% a year on it, fantastic. You're gonna have a million bucks saved up. That's great, but that's not all your money as I talked about in my last video. Uncle Sam is a co-owner of your 401k or IRAs. Why? Because when you take the money out, they get a chunk. If that chunk is 20%, then 200 of the million in my example is theirs. Now granted, they'd only get that if you took it out all at once. They get a little bit at a time as you take it out a little bit at a time. Let's go back to your tax deduction. When you were putting money in, you put in six grand, a 20% tax write off, and you, you save $1,200 a year in taxes. Now, that tax write off is only worth anything if you took that 1200 bucks a year, 20% times the $6,000 contribution, and you actually saved it. I know most of you don't do that. I've had a business now for 25 years. Most people I come across have almost all of their savings in three places. Their 401k or IRAs, their house, and a little bit in their checking account. And that's it. Raise your hand if that's you. I'm guessing it is. So thank goodness for 401ks because if people were left to save on what made it into their checking account, most people would have next to nothing out of their house. So congratulations if you do have a 401k. But I'm saying, wouldn't it be great if you took that $1,200, by the way, a year, the tax savings, and you invested that at 7%, guess what that'd give you in 37 years in my example? At 7%, it's roughly $200,000. You needed to save and invest the tax write-off you got to make that traditional 401k the best deal possible. So how does that relate to the Roth? Well, here's the deal. In the Roth, when you put the same $6,000 into your 401k, your Roth 401k, you don't get the write-off up front. There's no tax deduction. So that $1,200 is still not being saved by you, but it sort of is. Because that $6,000 a year, that same 37 years, 7%, grows to roughly a million bucks. But here's the big difference. Now, Uncle Sam doesn't get a piece of that. That million dollars, it's all yours. It's all yours. So you end up saving that extra $1,200 because you actually put it in because you did not get the tax write-off. So instead of getting the $1,200 as a tax deduction, you didn't get it and it stayed in the plan. It stayed in your 401k. I love the idea of having a six or seven figure 
pot of gold, I call it, at retirement without the government being able to get any of it. It's mine and my wife's. And I did to decide when I take it out because I'm going to roll it over to a Roth IRA. And when you do that, you're not subject to required minimum distributions, which have gone from age 70 and a half to 72 for a traditional IRA. The government wants your tax money. So they make you take it out. Required minimum distributions. I've got a video on that as well. Now, there's other problems with having IRAs and traditional 401ks. And that is when you take the money out, it's taxable income. If you have too much taxable income, you're too rich, the government may tax your Social Security benefit. They also may make you pay a larger premium for Medicare. You know that our federal deficit is massive and growing from entitlements. Is there a chance they will tax people more as they take out their retirement income? I think the answer is yes. There's trillions of dollars in retirement accounts from traditional IRAs. So as people take money out of those, could they put a surtax on them? Maybe. I don't know what they're going to do. It's a complete crapshoot as far as taxes. I do know that thanks to President Trump's Tax Act from 2017 that right now tax rates are at historic lows. So I would rather pay tax today on my 401k and assume I'm going to be in a worse rate later on. Now, if you have less than $5,000 in your account, chances are you're not paying any federal income tax now or later. I'm talking about people that have money, that are trying to grow money and have a nest egg for retirement. The Roth 401k is a great answer. It's easy for your employer to add this. This is only done through employers. If you're self-employed, by the way, you can create your own Roth 401k plan, and that's what I've done. But you need to ask your employer to set up with their the firm that runs the 401k. Will you please add the, the Roth 401k option? It's easy to do. It's not an expense for the employer. And put at least half of your contribution, if not all of your contribution, into this Roth 401k. It's going to help your forced savings. It's going to give you a pot of gold that's all yours. You don't have to share with Uncle Sam. And it'll also be able to be rolled over to a Roth IRA, not be subject to required minimum distributions, and then eventually given to your spouse and your kids or grandkids or whomever else, income tax-free, unlike your traditional 401k. Please subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of tax information, a lot of financial planning information on here. BradRozzi.com is my blog page. I have a ton of blog pages. I like to teach people. It's part of my passion. My life mission is to share with you the same information I share with my clients. Thanks a lot for listening today. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, a subscribe, all those wonderful things. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening.